A bad day on the boat is better than any day not on the ocean, Jibby always said. With the sea frozen for miles, Jibby realized how small her world had become. Doing the same thing day in and day out had made Jibby, well, dull. While gazing outside, she thought of the gal she used to be. She often went on adventures with the captain. They went alpine skiing when the summer sun faded and the snowflakes arrived. She thought, could I even get up on skis again? Oddly, an invitation arrived at her porthole the next sunrise. With the help of her cat, Jibby read the letter. Come on, cat. Let's go read the letter. Letters dated today. Dear Jibby, how are you? I am fine. Have you seen the snowflakes swirling? Want to go for an adventure of sorts? Your friend, the captain. Jibby outfitted herself with the sturdiest of winter attire. She felt that a strong cup of coffee would also do her well to prepare her and settle her nerves. Jibby felt, well, nervous. Over the bridge and through the woods, they traveled on the blackest of road boats. Over every wave of road, Jimmy's stomach began to roll. Through every port stop, her mind raced. Can I even do this, she thought. She pictured her next deckhand uniform coming with a matching cast. With this thought, her mind ran away from her. Jibby felt, well, panicky. Around the next corner, they caught sight of land, not a cozy harbor, but a mountain of risk. As they steered closer to the top, more snow appeared. There was no outlet for this inlet other than downward. Jibby felt, well, quite terrified. What would she do? Would she be able to do this? Could she ski? She's an old deckhand now. With her street shoes stowed and her feet encased in boots of lead, she collected her new uniform for the day and set sail for the bunny hill. Along the magic carpet ride to the peak, she wondered, Can I just not do this? Once at the crest of the hill, Jibby knew the answer to her question. How can I not do this? I must go down because there's no other way. Jibby felt, well, re Jibby felt, well, resigned to her fate and pushed off. Oh, so slowly, the glee and joy of flying over the white foam filled her with excitement and hope. Jibby could do this. Jibby was doing this. She wondered, how come I have not done this for so many years? Jibby flew down and down the mountain. She flew down the slopes like a pirate tracking her treasure. The pirate found treasures of emerald circles, sapphire squares, and black diamonds. Jibby stole memories from all and stored them in her mind's chest. Jibby did it. At the end of the day, when she reflected upon her adventure, she thought, could I have been wrong all along? A bad day on the boat could never have beaten this day on the mountain. And Jibby felt, well, not so dull anymore. No deckhands, teachers, or cats were harmed in the filming of this. The end.